lovers, it's me, Roy Fabito. We're here at 7-Eleven. We're gonna try every single food here. I'm gonna rank them from best to sucks. Come on, let's go. There are so many 7-Elevens in the world. Each have different menus. Hawaii, Denmark, Thailand, Taiwan. America though, is it good? I'll show you at Guava Juice Mysteries, episode one. All right, so we're here at 7-Eleven. We're gonna grab every single thing. Starting with these taquitos. So we got the steak and cheese taquitos, Monterey Jack chicken taquitos, jalapeno and cream cheese taquitos, buffalo chicken roller, chicken teriyaki taquito. All right, so they have hot dogs here too. This is a quarter pound big bite, picante bite, cheeseburger hot dog, chicken sandwiches, barbecue bacon cheeseburger, cheeseburgers. So you can make your own nachos. They have a chili dispenser. Just squirts chili, dude. The cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we're just gonna keep going here. Butter croissant, ham and egg and cheese. PB and J sandwich. We got the egg salad sandwich. American and cheese sub. The Italian job. Mm, look at these subs. Chicken Alfredo. Red hot beef and beans. Bean and cheese burritos. Beef, bean, and green chile. We, got, we need something sweet. So we got cherry snack pie. Apple pie. Chocolate pie. Strawberry cheesecake pie. Lemon pie. They also have a lot of donuts. We're gonna save that for another day. I'm just gonna grab some donut holes. You can't have 7-Eleven without getting a Slurpee. Look at that. The iconic 7-Eleven. Lemon slurpees. We got pepperoni pizzas, orange chicken, mini tacos, chimichangas, empanadas, chicken strips. We got freaking everything here. They even got cookies, cream cheesecakes, coffee cakes. I've never had 7 Eleven food ever. Maybe just a slurpee. Other than that, I didn't even know there was a food court in here. That's crazy. Oh. This whole thing freaking costs a hundred and five dollars. This is a uh, two weeks worth of food. Freaking 7-Eleven, man. <laughs> Lovers, 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 we are back here on the freaking kitchen. We're gonna start off with the 7-Eleven hot dog. Are the hot dogs really good value, taste? Wow, honestly, with all the toppings, it's just, just good. <laughs> like one bite, you take it, imagine you're on a rock, all the waves. <laughs> wow, so S tier! <laughs> da, 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 da. So let's just try the other hot dogs by itself. This is the spicy big bite. Yeah, that's a perfectly good hot dog. Wow, I'm slapping this on the S tier. You're going right there. So the cheeseburger hot dog. This one's okay. There's more like a, a high school lunch. Just more right here, just seat here. That one just reminds me of my, my high school and I got bullied. You know, the reason why I am the way I am today is because I got bullied. So if you got bullied in high school, middle school, take that anger and rage and freaking be successful. I'm talking to you, the person who stole my Air Force Ones back in the seventh grade. Talking to you also, the person who stole my TI-80 freaking calculator in ninth grade. Yo, 7-Eleven is taking me back to the past. It really is an experience, dude. Like this is my first time at 7-Eleven. I grew up in North Carolina. We really didn't have 7-Eleven. So this is, a ver this is a good experience for me, dude. All right, we're moving on to the nachos. Let's try it with the chili now. Put a little chili. That one's okay. It's just like a salty nacho cheese. I'm gonna put you right here. This is B tier. I'm excited for the Slurpee. Slurpee is always gonna be the S tier. You can't go wrong with a freaking Slurpee. Mm. S tier. All right, guys, so taquitos. Taquito one. So this is Monterey Jack flavor. It's like a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. It's good. Nothing ouch. Standing about it. Mono right Jack, I put A tier. It's good. It's good enough for A tier. This taquito. Mmm. So this is the buffalo chicken taquito. Mmm. It's good. It's good. A tier. I'll put the buffalo chicken A tier. Cheesy. Mmm. So this is the jalapeno cream cheese. I think it's safe to say if you're looking for a good cheap meal, taquitos, all in the A tier. Good job, taquito. We're gonna go try the pizza. Oh, it looks like a freaking high school lunch pizza. Are you good? For the price of 10 cents, it's great. There you go. Beats here for the pizza. Moving on to the mini tacos. Ooh, the miniature tacos. Are you good? Yeah, it's good. It's a nice little snack. Beefy on the inside. You just take a bite of it, you're just like, 
does the job. I'm gonna put you on the beats here. Nothing spectacular, does the job. I feel like the beats here should just be the does the job tier. Does the job. We got orange chicken on a stick. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Just cause orange chicken and Panda Express. 7-Eleven orange chicken. Spicy, sweet. It's good, nothing outstanding. I'm putting you right here on the B tier. It does the job, orange chicken. Current tier list, hot dog, Slurpee, still the most superior. Let's see if we can find another superior item here. Ooh, okay, let's do the chicken wings. Chicken wings, are you good? Yeah, it's good. Fried chicken wings, are you good? Yeah, good. Spicy chicken wing? It's good. Chicken wings are good, but not the best. I'll put it right here in the C tier for the price of like 50 cents for two wings, pretty good. The food's good, I'm mean, getting me wrong. It's, there's not been a food where I'm like, ugh, disgusting. <laughs> it's more like, oh, nice. Blueberry donut holes. Texture, mushy. Taste, mmm. -hmm. That's good. It's not the best, it's good enough. If it's there, I'ma get that thing because it's a freaking blueberry donut hole. Good eight tier item. Hmm, 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 mm Chicken tenders. All right, let's try it. Chicken tender time. It has a weird texture in the middle. It's like dry and wet at the same time. I'll put you on the seat tier. I don't think 7-Eleven figured out chicken. All right, next up. This is a buffalo chicken roller. Okay, oh, shoot. That caught my attention. At this point, it's like, if it catches my attention, it's gonna go above B tier. It's pretty good. This is a chimichanga. Look at that. You see the inside of it? Mm-hmm, chimichanga. Nothing crazy, nothing special. If it's there, I'll still eat it. Next up, we have the empanada. Look at this empanada. Is it a good empanada? Well, right, let's give this a shot. It's okay, does the job if it's there. You want something to do with the job? Gang, gang. All right, next up, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Feels like a weird tango. I don't know if it's like the sourness or the jelly. You bite it, but then it just takes you back. Like, wait a minute. Okay, now it's peanut butter jelly. If that didn't get that tango, it would've been ranked higher. C tier, peanut butter jelly. Okay, we got the chorizo breakfast taco. Okay, oh, this looks promising. Look at that. There's your breakfast taco, eggs, chorizo, some cheese. Let's try. Oh, mm, okay. Good burrito, I like it. If I had this in the morning, it's like a, your breakfast burrito from Mickey D's, you know? McDonald's! I'm gonna put you on the beats here. This is the bacon breakfast taco. It's probably the same thing, but there's bacon. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, okay, this one's more salty. The bacon really adds the flavor a little bit. So I'm gonna put you right behind your partner. Look at you, you're cuddling. Barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Let's go. Cool, I like it. It's great, especially when you microwave it. It's like warm, nice texture. Put you in the A tier. Also look how much I ate. That's how much I like. Egg sandwich. Please do not disappoint me like your peanut butter buddy did. Okay, it's good. I feel like the eggs could be a little bit wetter. It's better than the peanut butter and jelly by 50%. Does the job. 7-Eleven, it's great. Quick bites, does the job. The job. Boom, boom, go on with your day. Which one of these pies are the best pies? So we're gonna start off with your chocolate flavored pie. Here we go. Yeah, chocolate's great. That was a nice change up. I'll put you eight here. Apple pie, so let's see if this is good too. Okay, I also have to put you in the A tier. A little strong in the apple, but the pie, good enough. Oh, strawberry cheesecake? Oh, you better not mess up. The filling has to be mesmerizing. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, that one just tastes a little bit fake. I'm putting you in the D tier. Lemon pie. Oh, that looks like bioluminescence. Look at that, bruh. A little sour, a little sweet. C tier. Cherry pie. No, do not get their cherry. That's our first F tier. Every single thing was off of that. Okay, it's burrito time. We got three stages of burritos. The bean, beef, and green chile burrito. Ooh. So it comes in two, which is cool. Once it's done microwaving, let's give it a bite. 
Yeah, sweet. This is good. I'll put you in the eights here, I guess. It's good meat. Good amount of meat in the burrito. And it actually tastes like a burrito. So I think the way to go is grab these burritos and microwave it. And it actually tastes good. So the meat was good. How about the bean and cheese? Ooh, oh. <laughs> It's mushy. The tortilla could be better. It just doesn't fulfill me. If the tortilla could be better, it would be a good burrito. I'll put that right there. Ooh, red hot bean and beef. Look at that. Again, the tortilla could be better. All the burritos are in the beats here. If the tortilla was better, it would be good. It's still good, don't get me wrong. Chicken sandwich. We already know the chicken's not gonna be the greatest. If you see the tier list, chicken, chicken. They're both in the D tier. It's not bad. I think the bread actually masks the sogginess and the saltiness of the chicken. I'm gonna rank you right here. You got you the beats here. Chicken sandwich, it's not bad. So if you're going for the chicken, go for the chicken sandwich. Not the chicken wings or the tenders. Sandwich is good. Next up, we have the Alfredo. I'm gonna microwave this real quickly. In the meantime, we're gonna try out the cream cheese cake. Oh my gosh. Oh, please do not disappoint me. Oh. Oh my gosh, why, why, why? <laughs> if there's a word for dry, moist, sweet cake, it's dry, moist, dry, moist. Tier list, I'll put you right on here with the chicken. Chicken Alfredo is done. Oh boy, I'm so excited. It tastes like a good frozen snack meal from the grocery store. That's what it tastes like. Does the, job. Does the job. Let's put you here. I put you in the eight tier just cause you taste different from all the other stuff at 7-Eleven. Alamana. This is a Salvadorian style pound cake. Hmm. I'll put you in the B tier. The Italian job. It's good. How much is this? For the price of $6.59, I'd rather go somewhere else. Taste is good. I'm gonna rank the taste. The price can, you know, follow. It's different. It actually snapped me away from my everything tastes the same. Ham and cheese. Ooh. It reminds me of uh, when your parents make you ham and cheese sandwiches. Easy to make. I'm gonna put you. Okay, cheeseburger. You can already tell. Tastes like the school. I'm probably, probably put you here in the D tier. I don't know. This is butter croissant with egg and cheese. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, okay, let's try it. All right, I don't like it. You're gonna go the same tier as the burger. That was very bland. The texture was off. Ah, oh, $1 cookies. 50 cent cookies, you better be good, all right? Cookies, you can't go wrong with cookies. I'm gonna put you over here, C tier. I don't know what it is. It's like, where's the flavor? Where's the chocolate? Next up we have coffee cake. The pastry with a little bit of coffee on the top is a good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tastes like a perfume. It has this fragrancy taste. Like it's like, that's the moral of the story. 7-Eleven does the job. 